Assalamu alaikum and welcome back to Technology Explore. My name is Usman Chaudhary and uh, today in this video I am going to show you how you can make this type of globoidal mechanism in solid bulbs. So keep watching this video till end and uh, if you want to download all these files for your practice then I will leave the download link in the description of this video. और अगर ये वीडियो आप उर्दू में देखना चाह रहे हैं तो वीडियो की डिस्क्रिप्शन में आपको एक लिंक मिल जाएगा वहां पे जाके आप उर्दू में ये वीडियो देख सकते हैं ओके लेट्स स्टार्ट फ्रॉम न्यू पार्ट देन ड्रा स्केच ऑन फ्रंट प्लेन एंड ड्रा अ सर्कल डिफाइन द डायमीटर ऑफ दिस सर्कल व्हिच इज 100 मिलीमीटर देन गो टू फीचर्स टैब एंड फ्रॉम हियर सेलेक्ट हेलिक्स एंड स्पाइरल फ्रॉम कर्व्स द पिच इज 100 revolution is 0.5 i mean half revolution and then press okay button see this then um, in the features tab click on reference geometry and from here select plane we are going to make a new plane so uh, select first reference uh, front plane and then click on this point as a second reference then press okay button now sketch on this plane make normal to by pressing control plus 8 key and then draw a three point arc start it from here like this define the radius 50 mm select this point and this point make them horizontally aligned then select this point and this curve and make the pierce relation between them So uh, the sketch is now fully defined. Press this button to save and exit from sketch mode. Once again, sketch on this plane one. Make normal two and draw a circle of 100 millimeter diameter. Then, once again, go to features and from here select helix and spiral. Same parameters. I mean, pitch is 100. Revolution is half. and uh, you can see here now uh, once again sketch on this plane one make normal to and then draw a circle of 100 diameter uh, millimeter diameter then extrude it go to pieces and select extrude from here in the direction one select mid plane and extrusion thickness is 100 millimeter and then press okay button now uh, we can hide this plane one and then if you hover your mouse on the top plane and right plane so uh, here the top plane so sketch on it sketch on top plane and then draw a sketch by using line like this define this width which is 20 mm this width is 12 mm this length is 10 mm then select this midpoint and this midpoint and make them horizontally aligned then select this midpoint and this line and make the midpoint relation between them now uh, click on this button to save and exit from sketch mode and uh, then uh, in the features tab select swept cut command select this sketch as a profile and uh, select this cut as a path then press okay button now expand this cut sweep one and uh, unhide this sketch once again swap cut select this sketch as a profile and this curve as a path press okay button so it is showing an error so expand the options and from here uncheck this option align with end faces and then press okay button now click on this face and sketch on it again select this face and select convert entities command from here then press this button to save and exit from sketch mode once again swept cut command select this sketch as a 
profile and uh, this curve as a path and then press ok button now uh, we should have to hide these curves or sketches so uh, now use fillet command and uh, fillet all these co corners fillet radius is 5 mm and then press ok button once again fillet command this time fillet radius is 1 select this edge and this edge and press ok button now select this face and sketch on it make normal to draw a circle define the diameter which is 15 mm and then go to extruded cut command so make a hole of 15 mm throughout this uh, this gear or this worm so now um, um, I have done this save this part as a um, once again um, start a new part and uh, this time sketch on front plane draw a circle like this another circle like this define the diameter of outer circle which is 200 millimeter and inner diameter have the uh, inner circle have the diameter of 15 millimeter so now go to features and from here select extruded bow space command select mid plane from direction 1 and uh, extrusion thickness is 20 millimeter press ok button now uh, click on right plane and sketch on it make normal to and then draw a sketch by using line command like this select this line and make it horizontal now define this width which is 11.9 divided by 2 distance from here up to this point is 9.9 .9 millimeter distance from here up to this line is 2 millimeter and distance from this line up to this line is 1 millimeter select this line and make it vertical so our sketch is now fully defined go to features and from here select revolved bow space command select this line as axis of revolution and uh, then press ok button now use fillet command and uh, fillet radius is 1 millimeter select this top face and then press ok button now uh, use circular pattern command expand these options and from here select revolve 1 and fillet 1 select this uh, box pattern axis and then select this circular edge quantity is 14 press ok button save this part as gear a then um, now it's time to make the assembly so go to assembly so here is the folder where i have saved these two parts and this is the base and uh, it is a very simple part so uh, import all these three parts in the solidworks assembly then select this cylindrical face and this cylindrical face make them coincentric after that select this face and then select this face and this face and make a distance between them 55 millimeter then select this cylindrical face and this cylindrical face and make the coincident uh, coincentric made between them after that select this face and this face then this cylindrical face and make a width made between them press ok button now uh, we have defined the exact distance between uh, between this gear and this plate so we should delete this width mate for now then select this face and this face and make a distance mate leave this distance as 45 millimeter then press ok button now um, press space button and uh, make this view orientation 
rearrange this first let me change the color of this part so now uh, rearrange like this then now the assembly is done and it's time to check the working of our parts so for that i'm going to use the solar box motion analysis for this purpose so for that click on this arrow in front of this setting button and from here select add-ins and uh, then if you can see here solar box motion so check this box to turn the solar solid box motions on and then press ok button after that make the proper view orientation like this and then go to motion study one from here expand this option and from here select motion analysis instead of animation and then first of all um, tell the solar box that this part and this part have the contact for that here is the contact option so click on it select this part and this part press ok button so after uh, making the contact between the parts i have to tell the solar box that the this part will move or rotate so for that i will use motor option here and then select this part so this is the direction of rotation you can switch the direction by pressing this button reverse direction and then scroll down and this is these are the rpm so type here 20 rpm or um, your desired rpm and then press ok button after that this is the timeline um, for so by default it is set up to 5 seconds uh, so i can increase the time up to 20 seconds and then select this button to calculate This is how we can do the globoidal me mechanism in solid box. I hope you have enjoyed and learned from this video. Thanks for watching and sparing time. And don't forget to subscribe this YouTube channel for more videos like this.